Praetor. Praetor Amalthus. The boy has arrived, your eminence. Thank you. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Huh? No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this. From Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah. Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To, to save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago. Too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find Elysium. Or the architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex. I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to... Reminisce a little. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's the Praetor, Dimwit. What are you gonna do, eat her? Back there, I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry, I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. 
That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. It was painted 1,500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the Architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Tenacious creatures, humans. I'm so sorry to do this to you. I see. Very well.
It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night, off the record. Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. Why now, I wonder? I can't imagine he was just paying his respects. Do you think it's something to do with the Encha? Hmm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case, he must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man! Sincere apologies, everyone, but I come with an urgent request. Please go to the audience chamber at once! <laughs> 